Lena or Lena is the name given to a standard test image widely used in the field of image processing since 1973. It is a picture of Lena Tsar Paragraph der Berg, shot by photographer Dwight Hooker, cropped from the centerfold of the November 1972 issue of Playboy magazine. Given the nature of the image and its source, several academics have criticized its continued use in scientific publications and higher education as both sexist and unprofessional. The spelling Lena comes from the anglicization used in the original Playboy article. History, before Lena, the first use of a Playboy magazine image to illustrate image processing algorithms was in 1961. Lawrence G. Roberts used two cropped 6-bit grayscale facsimile scanned images from Playboy's July 1960 issue featuring playmate Teddy Smith, with attribution, in his MIT master's thesis on image dithering. Intended for high-resolution color image processing study, the Lena Pictures history was described in the May 2001 newsletter of the IEEE Professional Communication Society, in an article by Jamie Hutchinson. Alexander Sorkuk estimates that it was in June or July of 1973 when he, then an assistant professor of electrical engineering at the University of Southern California Signal and Image Processing Institute, along with a graduate student and the SIPI lab manager, was hurriedly searching the lab for a good image to scan for a colleague's conference paper. They got tired of their stock of usual test images, dull stuff dating back to television standards work in the early 1960s. They wanted something glossy to ensure good output dynamic range, and they wanted a human face. Just then, somebody happened to walk in with a recent issue of Playboy. The engineers tore away the top third of the centerfold so they could wrap it around the drum of their Muirhead wire photo scanner, which they had outfitted with analog to digital converters and a Hewlett Packard 2100 mini computer. The Muirhead had a fixed resolution of 100 lines per inch and the engineers wanted a 512A, 512 image, so they limited the scan to the top 5.12 inches of the picture, effectively cropping it at the subject's shoulders. This scan became one of the most used images in computer history. In a 1999 issue of IEE Transactions on Image Processing Lena was used in three separate articles, and the picture continued to appear in scientific journals throughout the beginning of the 21st century. Lena is so widely accepted in the image processing community that Tsar Paragraph der Berg was a guest at the 50th Annual Conference of the Society for Imaging Science and Technology in 1997. The use of the photo in electronic imaging has been described as clearly one of the most important events in its history. To explain Lena's popularity, David C. Munson, editor-in-chief of IEE Transactions on Image Processing, noted that it was a good test image because of its detail, flat regions, shading, and texture. However, he also noted that its popularity was largely because an image of an attractive woman appealed to the males in a male-dominated field. While Playboy often cracks down on illegal uses of its material, it has overlooked the wide use of Lena. Eileen Kent, VP of New Media at Playboy said, we decided we should exploit this, because it is a phenomenon. Controversy The use of the image has produced controversy because Playboy is often considered as degrading towards women and the Lena photo has been pointed to as an example of sexism in the sciences, reinforcing gender stereotypes. In a 1999 essay on reasons for the male predominance in computer science, Diana Leary wrote, Suggestive pictures used in lectures on image processing convey the message that the lecturer caters to the males only. For example, it is amazing that the Lena pin-up image is still used as an example in courses and published as a test image in journals today. A 2012 paper on compressed sensing by Diana Neadell and Rachel Ward used a photo of the model Fabio Lanzini as a test image to draw attention to this issue. Remastering in September 2013 Jeff Seidman of the Society for Imaging Science and Technology worked with Playboy to rescan the image from the original negatives. Notes References External links, Lena 97, a complete story of Lena, the Lena story, contains a link to an uncropped scan of the original Playboy photograph.